Hey everyone, it's Joseph from LearnSketch.com and I'm here today to introduce you to Sketch if you're not already familiar with it. If you are familiar with it and you started using it, uh, you may want to skip this video because this video is really just to describe how Sketch is going to fit into your arsenal of design software uh, and how it fits with the Adobe software that already exists that are more than mainstream. So let's talk about Photoshop real quick because I think Photoshop is one of the more comparable tools, Illustrator being the second comparable tool. So let me hop back into Photoshop here and let's look at my document. If I zoom in here, my document is made of pixels and my images, if they're small, are pixelated when I zoom in. Uh, that's because Photoshop is a raster image editor. Your canvas is made up of pixels and your objects on that canvas uh, fall into those pixels. Uh, whereas Sketch, Sketch is a vector drawing application, more like Illustrator. So in Sketch, if I zoom in here on this circle, uh, notice how crisp that edge is. That's because my canvas is not made of pixels and my shapes are therefore not constrained to pixels. Uh, so the way vector shapes work is really based on math. And if I go in and edit this, you can see that this circle is made up of points and that these points have these lines uh, called Bezier curves that form the bend of the lines that come out from this point. Uh, so what's happening here is a mathematical expression and that can be scaled infinitely. I can scale this up, I can scale this down, and it doesn't lose quality, it never gets affected. Uh, see the thing with Sketch is even though it's a vector editing application, uh, it's really designed to be used as a pixel based canvas because when you design for the web or when you design for uh, mobile devices or uh, any any physical device that device's display is going to be made up of pixels uh, so what you're able to do in sketch is you're able to create these things called artboards that represent a screen or a final product and you're able to work within the pixel dimensions of that screen and you might be thinking well illustrator lets me do that uh, but the thing here in Sketch is that I can have it show me the pixel grid. Uh, I can go to View. I can have it show me an actual pixel preview. I can say Show Pixels here. And when I zoom in, I can see every individual pixel here. Uh, and I can see how my object becomes pixelated. So as I'm working, I get a real-life preview of what my final product will be. Uh, so it's sort of bridging the gap between Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, being that I'm working on a pixel grid, being that I can measure things in pixels. You guys can see here that I'm able to measure distances and sizes in pixels. So really, I'm constrained to pixels for the sake of having a final product that clicks with the device that it's being displayed on. But I'm working with vector objects for the sake of flexibility. I'm able to scale things, I'm able to draw things, and I'm able to create things that are infinitely flexible and scalable. So it really does bridge that gap between Photoshop and Illustrator, and it's designed to make you a more effective designer because you don't have to worry about the limitations of pixel-based artwork, but you get to work within the constraints of pixel-based output, so that way your designs are actually uh, going to look good on the final device that they show up on. Whereas Illustrator, Illustrator doesn't really care so much what your final output is going to be. Illustrator just focuses on on the visual aspect of these curves and shapes. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how Sketch falls in between uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. It is a vector design tool. It allows you to place raster graphics and really where it becomes super strong is in sharing styles, in working with text, and it, almost working like a web designer whether you're working on a website or not. Uh, for, for instance here I can create uh, different fills and, and styles for this object and I can save those right here where it says shared style. I can create a shared style and I can call it brownish blob or blobs rather so that way I can apply it to other shapes like this one for instance I could choose brownish blobs for this now brownish blob as well uh, now as I'm working if I make a change to this one because they are a linked style they both change together so there are a lot of these little time savers in sketch that will make you very glad that you're not using Photoshop or Illustrator because uh, the bottom line is you will get your work done faster and then of course there's sketches bias toward exporting assets to have something built usually by a developer or I, I mean you can use this to to do print design I suppose but uh, really it's biased more more toward web and uh, user interface design so here's where it gets really cool in my opinion 
I get a little annoyed in Photoshop or especially Illustrator when I have to get something out of Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, and what's really great in sketches, in the bottom right hand corner, I can make an object exportable. I could just hit this little plus sign down here and I could say export at one times the size that it is on my canvas or I could change that. I mean I could have it automatically export at double the size if I'm doing uh, retina designs for, for a retina display. Uh, or I could hit the plus sign again and I could have a one times version and a two times version and I can also append at 2x to the end of it so it works with uh, like retina.js for example if you're doing web design. Uh, and then when I choose export it'll export all of the versions that I need uh, for what it is that I'm creating. The other nice thing is I can even go over here to the layers palette and I could grab something from the layers palette and drag it wherever I want, meaning I could drag it into the finder and it gives me a PNG automatically. So I don't even have to use the export command. Once I've made something exportable, I can start dragging and dropping and sending things where they need to go. If I need to, I could even drag it into email or into messages and get it off where it needs to go. So that part of it's really powerful as well. If I need to take it one step further in Photoshop too, I could also drag that layer onto Photoshop. So there's a lot of really cool stuff and the reason this channel exists is so I can show you these things and I can walk you through it slowly. Uh, so that way you can take advantage of all of the features of Sketch. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, and I've got a lot of cool stuff coming soon for Sketch.